Previously on Daniel Marchioni's YouTube channel. Hello? Anybody here? Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Marchioni. I should have been. I actually brought you here to teach them how to clone themselves in video using split screen. And there you have it. How, how to, to clone, clone yourself, yourself using split, split screen. screen. Dude, that is my line. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do all the work and you're gonna take all the credit. No, hey, don't ask me to do stuff like this Jeez. again. Little does he know he's coming back for part two. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, I know it was you that brought me back here. You better have a damn good reason. Where are you? Show yourself, you coward. Coward, huh? Whoa, 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 wait. Wait a Is that, are you holding my Ronin pretending it's a gun to scare me? No, this is a real gun. <laughs> No, no, that's very clearly my Ronin. I, I can see it. Okay, fine, it's your Ronin, but I needed you to take this seriously. I need your help again. All right, now what? You remember that video we did about cloning yourself? Yeah, that was like a week ago. How could I forget? I was saying that for the people who might not have seen it, idiot. Fair enough. I think it'd be pretty cool if there was like a on-screen prompt or something up there that people could click if they hadn't seen it. I need your help with the more advanced version of cloning. We're gonna make it more cinematic, you know, take it to the next level. Okay, fine. I'll do the filming portion, you do the editing. Deal. I'm gonna go grab an espresso, I'll be back when you're done. Cool, do you mind grabbing me one while you're down there? Okay. So this concept is pretty similar to the last video with the split screen. The only difference is you're gonna need a green screen for this one. If you don't have a full on green screen, that's fine. A green bristol board will do just fine. That's what I'm using today anyway. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is frame up your shot for the person who's talking. Set the focus and shift to manual so that it doesn't bounce back and forth. This is important that it doesn't bounce back and forth, otherwise it's gonna ruin your shot. Film this person's script as well as some reaction shots. That's gonna be important so you can cut back and forth depending on how you wanna edit it. Also, remember to film it in 4K. This way you can punch in and out if you're doing a 1080p sequence. Here's where it becomes next level. What you're gonna do is step out of the frame, change costumes, and go to the other side so that your shoulder and head and neck, depending on how you frame it up, is in the frame. Again, different costume, but out of focus. What you're gonna do next is take that green screen and put it in between where you're now standing and where you were standing before. Make sure that the green screen takes up as much space as possible. We're gonna key that out later. I have a stand holding up my green screen in this case, but if you don't have access to that, you can hold it up yourself, just at arm's length, or if you have someone to hold it up for you, that'll work just fine as well. Once you've repeated this for both people talking, both camera angles, you're ready to move it into editing. <sighs> All right, just in time. Dude, where's my espresso? I knew I was forgetting something. He had one job. Well, two jobs actually, because now I have to explain to them how to edit this. All right, hopefully he did a good enough job explaining how to do this, otherwise my editing is just not gonna make any sense. What you wanna do is start by creating a new sequence at 1080p. Remember, we shot it in 4K so that you can punch in and out, giving you a little bit more freedom in editing. What you're gonna do once you've created your sequence is drag your first clip of the person talking onto layer one of the timeline. Then, you're gonna drag your green screen footage on top of that one. Once you've got the footage on top and the timing worked out, what you're gonna do is go to the effects panel, ultra key tool, and drag that onto your green screen footage. In the ultra key tool, you're gonna hit the eyedropper, select the green from the green screen, and key it out. You should see now that it has revealed your bottom layer footage and you have a pretty good over the shoulder shot. The green screen keying out doesn't always work perfectly, so you might have to go in and tweak the individual settings based on your shoot. Again, I can't coach you through that, it's a case by case situation. But once you've tweaked it out, you have this amazing over the shoulder shot. It's much easier than masking things out and you've got an awesome cinematic look and you've cloned yourself in a really new and creative way. If you use this technique in tandem with the split screen technique from before, you'll have some pretty cool footage and something that ends up looking like this. It's about time. I finished what feels like hours ago. Well, dude, if I didn't have to get my own espresso, I would have been here before you finished. Honestly, that sounds like a you problem. Did you at least take the time to tell the people to like the video and subscribe to the channel or? No, and that is your fault. How is that my fault? Dude, I'm a figment of your imagination. You literally created me to make learning more engaging. Well, I hope that he, or I guess I, taught you something today and if I did, hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Coward, huh? No, this is a real gun. Oh, what am I doing? I'm looking at the camera. <laughs>
No, that's very clearly my Ronin. Like, I can see it. I, like, I don't...